Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, well, let's take a look at what is um, um, from 5000 to 6000 kilohertz. What can you hear? What are the types of signals you encounter there? We'll actually talk about that and uh, hope that you enjoy the videos. So once again, using the Texan H501X on the MLA30 loop, uh, 5000 to 6000 kilohertz. Most of it is utilities and aeronautical communications. Uh, there's a little bit of a ham channels and there's uh, the bottom part is the end of the 60 meter um, tropical band. And the top part is the start of the 49 meters international broadcast band. So let's start. So usually at uh, 5000 kilohertz, it's maybe a little early here, I get WWV time signal. 5010 is off in WRMI. Radio Rebelde from Cuba, 5025, because this is the top part of the uh, tropical main. Radio Vanna Cuba on 5040. The evening 5085 often has uh, WTWW with some music. Around 5100, well, usually what I'll do is I'll switch to upper sideband because now we're going to be in a big chunk of what is mostly utilities and all sorts of weird things. Fishermen, uh, unlicensed operators of all sorts. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Of course, like I said, if you don't hear nothing, try it regularly. So some RTTY 5120. Some Stanag. The area, if you're not too far from the province of Quebec, the area between about 5250, uh, even 5230, I would say, up to 5300, often has French language people because there's uh, these bush radios that they use in the uh, north of Quebec and uh, places where there's no other types of communications, no cell phone, nothing. So they'll often use these radios on that frequency range. I hear them regularly if I tuned uh, 5230 to 5300 kilohertz range every day. I will probably hear some a uh, couple of times a week um, with, you know, like fish people that are going on fishing trips or uh, ski trips or all sorts of, you know, uh, forest workers and so on uh, can be heard here. This is radio teletype. We're in part of what is the uh, the 60 meter amateur band also here. So this is FT8 on 5357.5. Fifty, I get a lot of spurious signals, which is kind of interesting. Fifty four fifty Royal Air Force or Air Force One uh, Royal Air Force UK weather station. This is a military weather station. I often use this as a propagation indication. So for example, I'm not hearing it very loud tonight. I'm telling myself that propagation to Europe is below average right now probably.
5505, Shannon, Ireland, weather station. This is aeronautical. Once again, I often use this as a beacon, as a propagation verification. So I'll use this signal to check out if this band is open to Europe properly or not. Here we are getting into the aeronautical band, so lots of uh, air traffic control in this range. This is one occasion when I'll uh, actually tune backwards just to see if I miss out on anything. Especially where there's a lot of activity. 5616, one frequency to note. Uh, 5598, another one to note. With uh, air traffic control communications coming in through the uh, over the Atlantic Ocean. And here above 5700, even though it's a little low, we often have stations that is the start of the 49 meter international broadcast band. So I'll switch to AM here, so W5800, WRMI. The 850 is also WRMI, different types of broadcasts. WWCR 5935. WRMI 5950. Audio is very low tonight, but this is Voice of Turkey. As we're at uh, 2325 UT, but almost no audio tonight. China Radio International, or whatever the new name of that station is, broadcasting from Cuba on 5990. And here is Mali, and often. You can avoid interference by choosing a upper sideband broadcast or narrowing the filter bandwidth. The 2.3, it does avoid, it degrades the audio, but it does avoid some of the Chandra radio uh, broadcast and of course one of the tricks to hear a station that is interfered with with another station that is stronger near the frequency is to use upper or lower sideband if the station that interferes is below the frequency you lose you use upper sideband to actually go away from it and the other way around if you have interference on 6000 then you would use lower sideband to avoid it so this was the tuning of 5000 to 6000 kilohertz on the Texan H501X with the explanation of what you can hear and do tune around a lot. Um, you know, there are parts where there's aeronautical communications. It might have sounded kind of quiet. Could be due to the propagation tonight, but I can tell you there's a lot of activity going on there.
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.